We take a hike to Zapata Falls, check out the sand dunes, do a drive around the countryside, drive through Palisades RV Park and the KOA in Alamosa, and just explore along the way. great stop for us we stayed at the alamosa koa which will give you a little drive through and then we we drove through palisades um rv park near gunnison which we'll do um, a little bit of the wildlife preserve here which we did not hike through because i hadn't mentioned it we're not much on hiking but we did hike zapata falls here are some of the photos near the sand dunes as we go up to zapata falls the area is just gorgeous The hike isn't bad, but um, we're flatlanders from Florida, and in Colorado, I can't breathe, and I don't hike good on flatland, let alone up in mountains, but this is beautiful. It's not a very far hike, maybe a mile, um, and then you get to the water. The water is snow melt, so it's cold. The water is very, very cold. Don't do this to your dog or to small kids. That water is really cold and it's very hard to get your balance. So, you know, use common sense. rocks and the fast running water I am very afraid I'm going to fall and bust my keister or freeze to death oh and make no mistake Vic would laugh that he fell down water drive down to the sand dunes and see if we can get a few pictures there.
the Great Sand Dunes isn't a far drive from Zapata Falls or from the campground for that matter. They have a pretty good museum there. You can go in and understand a little more about the dunes and how they shift and move over time. We really enjoyed our visit there. There is a Jeep trail out behind the um, sand dunes, and we did try to do it. There's several water crossings there that are still were still flooded when we were there. We tried on another day, and um, it came up a storm, and we barely missed some... Um, flash flood that was crossing the road so we had to kind of scoot on out and um, I don't think I got any video of it but in Florida we get flooding but not flash floods. We had a day where the weather wasn't very good and so we all decided to take a drive in the Jeep with the with my mom and all three puppies as well. So this is the route we took and I'll just give you a few clips of the road. There was lots of this, just open fields with nothing around. Camping, San Luis Valley Campground. Shower, laundry, hookup, stuff. Station. Yeah. Roads were pretty good. Uh, we didn't run across any roads that we wouldn't have been able to take the camper on. Um, so overall, pretty good. Road 114 on the way back, I would not take a camper on. That one's pretty twisty turny and you could do it, but it wouldn't be fun. Well, I guess that would depend on your version of fun. After a quick drive through Salida, we were back on the road heading over to Palisades RV Park just to do a drive through so we could see what it looked like in case we were ever back in the area and wanted to stay there. how you got to the park it almost felt like you were going through a neighborhood but it was easy enough to get to um, once we figured it out so wouldn't have been been horrible would be a couple turns would have been a little tight but nothing bad a couple things to note is this is a 55 plus RV park 
and the website says two dog max i always call when they say that sometimes they'll let you bring a third one or they'll charge a fee and i had one place just tell me to leave the other one home so clearly that wasn't for me um and, and i totally respect the rights it's their part their rules and i understand why multiple dogs are a problem so it's just best to check so you know what the rules are I also ask about side-by-sides. Sometimes that's a problem, and because we are a Super C, that too can be an issue. Some places just um, are not friendly to that. So as long as I know that going in, I'm good with whatever their choices are. It, it helps me make a good, informed decision. Yeah. That's horrible, isn't it? Yeah, I don't that one's got more. So, it, this one be okay. Oh, you got to. I think there's other RV parts, but this is the one I kind of had in mind. There's a Gen Am on the trailer. Alright, it's not a Not a lot of them, anyways. These at the back would be the right ones. Oh, there would be a good one. Okay. So this, this would be okay. I'm just thinking for next, well next sometime, I don't even know if that'll be next year. But. Okay, so this one would work. You have the camera on. Yes, I do. Don't say things that you can be stuck in there. says there is. Oh no, it says go up here and turn left. Missed that part. Okay, so this is, it is close to town, so that's convenient. Right? And we're right next to the senior living community. Should be quiet. They probably have bingo over now and then. Mine says go straight, but it seems, it seems incorrect to me. Go back where we came. Is shops. I know I said earlier that the roads were good and I'd take a camper on them, but this is 114 and I would not take a camper on this. It's not horrible, but it's really windy turny and it just would not be good for taking a camper on. Um, but we do stumble across a campground, sort of, that we will not be staying at. Can you turn off the windshield wipers? Oh, there's an RV park here. Modern? I don't know. <laughs> not villain. Curiosity. This is a this is a curiosity turn, not necessarily an expectation. Yeah. Good thing we have a jeep.
you know, in all fairness, this campground might be fine. I, we didn't talk to the people, um, but we drive a semi, and it's 45 foot, and there is no way we're taking our semi across that wood bridge or down this road. all the conveniences of Walmart and um, a marathon no a Maverick get fuel station for trucks that has a good fuel station for the semis like ours um, and they have several other uh, fuel stops there there's lots of shopping there's a train I think you can take um, all the conveniences so it's a good place to stop for a few days to refuel and have all the amenities actually on a different day coming back from the sand dunes I just wanted to give you an idea what the KOA looked like we did eventually make it back home to the camper so here's a little drive-in of the KOA in uh, Alamosa in case you're ever staying there it's easy and nice sites nothing fancy but they do have a swimming pool and you know, the normal KOA stuff. Just a quick stop to get my Amazon package before the rain starts. Overall, this wasn't a bad campground for us. It was easy for us to get into. Um, there were a couple other campgrounds in the area that if, if this was full that we would do, but you know, there are several to choose from and this one worked well for our needs. Please make sure you like and subscribe and I'm going to do another video on Alamosa on some of the one of the other drives we took and a little jeeping we did.